We're going to go to um, the third pitch. Um, pay close attention to this uh, young man. He's got a very, very interesting message. Can I get Compare King on stage? If you change your mind on the first in line, honey, I'm still free. Take a chance on me. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. First of all, it's great to see you. Um, my name is Renee, and I'm the founder of Compare King. Compare King is the fastest growing price comparison site, or financial price comparison site in Norway, where um, consumers can compare different types of retail banking products, such as credit cards, home loans, car loans, and more. I'll tell you a little bit more about myself. Uh, prior to founding Compare King, I used to work for a focused venture capital firm in Malaysia called Nova Founders Capital. <clears throat> While working for Nova Founders Capital, I had a very important role in building what's now Malaysia's leading financial comparison platform. So, the big question is, why did I decide to quit my job, leave sunny Malaysia, move back to Norway and start Compare King? It's a funny story, actually, because I was speaking to a good friend of mine from Norway, and we were just discussing price comparison sites and retail banking products, and he mentioned that he was struggling with finding financial products suited to his needs. I thought this was a very interesting statement because I assumed that Norway would have something equivalent to Compriser in Sweden or maybe even Money Supermarket in the UK. For those of you who do not know Money Supermarket, it's a hugely successful financial comparison site in the UK which has an estimated market cap of $1.7 billion. So, I, um, with his comment in mind, I decided to do some more research on the market and speak to some more people in Norway. And it actually appears that there is a real problem. There is no full-scale price comparison site. So, I saw this window of opportunity, I quit my job, I moved back to Norway, assembled a great team, I raised 200,000 Norwegian kroners, and I built a beta version of Compare King, which you can see here. Um, the site was launched in, at the beginning of the year, January 2014, and so far, the response we've been getting from our users has been great. We currently have approximately four to 5,000 visitors each month, and we've soft-signed major product providers. Our users love the fact that we're actually able to help them with comparing a wide range of products, thereby allowing them to save time and money. <clears throat> In addition to comparing products, we also produce useful money-saving tips and tricks. The way we make money is through referring customers to the product providers. So that would be the banks, insurance companies, and telecommunication companies. So let's say I want to get myself a new credit card. I go to Compare King. I compare the different credit cards. I find the one I like. Then I apply for the credit card. The credit card is then approved. The bank will then pay Compare King a referral fee. We also can make money on on-page advertising. So it's very clean, neat. With Compare King, we're not reinventing the wheel. We're taking a proven business model, and we're tailoring it to the Norwegian market. What this means for you as investors is that you're actually investing into a concept, a business model, which is proven and very profitable if executed correctly. At the end of the day, I believe that the success of a startup relies or depends on its ability to execute. And what we've done with limited resources in a few months have have exceeded even my expectations. But now we need your help to take it to the next level. I'm currently raising 1.1 million Norwegian kroners for 9.9% of the equity in the company. Thank you very much. You. Good job. Before I, before I go to the jury, I just want to make sure that uh, you guys know the Slido code. So it's sly.do, and the code is Technoport. And when you go in there, you can ask questions or vote up questions. Um, and I know you have a question. But before <laughs> that, I'm going to go to uh, Investinor. Hello. A question. Yeah. Um, I'm struggling to see what's unique here. Because 
I did a quick Google yep. search before I came here, and I found a dozen websites that look like your idea. Uh, one of them, Dina Penger, don't I know? Yeah. It's been around for a while, well-established brand, backed by a huge media corporation. Mm -hmm. um, how will you uh, win this race? I mean, I, I'm guessing they could eat you for breakfast if they wanted to. <laughs> um, I mean, similar to, it's in the UK, you have Money Supermarket, but then you also have an additional three or four sites, you switch, compare the market, um, in addition, go compare. All of these companies are making healthy profits. So I like to think that with Penger.no, and you also have um, Finance Portal, which, I mean, they're great sites, absolutely. But Penger.no has been around in the market for, for a few years now, and they haven't really gotten any traction. Also, they only compare the products of the, the, the product providers that they're working with. So if they work with four companies, they only compare four products. For me, it's, it's a matter of actually, it's what actually is, is the most important thing is actually showing the whole market. I mean, what is actually available in the market? What, you know, what type of credit cards are out there, unrelated, or whether I'm actually working with the company or not. I mean, we want to help the consumers as much as possible. And at the end of the day, you need to build trust with your consumers. And if you only have, uh, let's say, four home loans in your comparison, then people are not going to come back. So the fact that there are big companies and Shipstead Media Group is backing Penger.no, I only see it as a positive thing because I can't see why we can't coexist. And I mean, we've built price comparison sites before, a um, very successful one in Malaysia. And I believe that in order to actually capture you know, users, you have to have something which is very interactive. And that's why we're introducing now live chat 24-7. Because people, when, when users go in and they have a question, they want to know it I'm immediately. Gonna catch, I'm going to catch you on that one. Okay. Because you answered it. <laughs> and the point is, and I think yep. this is the hardest question almost to get, is this. <laughs> I mean, they're there and you're there. But that's the spirit of an entrepreneur as well, isn't it? You, yep. You're not going to back down just because there's some other guy out there that's bigger than you. I'm always the smallest guy around and I still walk out <laughs> there. So. <laughs> And exactly. Don't listen to him. <laughs> exactly. And also, um, I'm just gonna, uh, sorry, I'm just going to go. I'm going to ask one very short question. If someone got a short question, or I'm going to go to the audience. Anyone in jury with a short question or the audience? Okay, Kim, quick. <laughs> what were you going to use the 1.1 million kroner for? Yeah. So it'll be used to, I mean, increase market, marketing spent. So on paid, paid ads. It's also going to be increased, uh, used to, to hire an additional uh, one, one coder, one head of business development. Um, additionally, it's also going to be used to actually further improve the site because what you see now is a beta version. It's not the final product. It's never going to be final because we can always do it better. So Good. I'm going, to, I'm going to cut you off there, and I'm going to go to the audience. There we go, because I realized that we haven't been refreshing. Um, and let's pick <coughs> one here. Uh, that first we kind of answered. So... Um, there was someone here who talked about, uh, I don't know why it's not showing, but someone here had a, had a question uh, when I was checking, which was uh, your, your previous exit. You said you'd done something in Malaysia. Yep. How did that go? So it's not been an exit yet. Um, um, I mean, it's been going very well. It's, the site is called comparehero.my, and it is the leading financial comparison site in Malaysia. Um, they're still running, and uh, they just raised um, 3 million US dollars quite recent, so it's going well, and I mean, there's a very talented team behind, behind the company now. So you've proven it's, that you're still going strong. Yeah, absolutely, and I mean, it was started, I was one of the first guys, together with two guys who used to work for Rocket Internet. So We've got one last question as well. Why an English name if you're targeting just the Norwegian market? Great question. I'm not only targeting Norway. Norway is the first market. We have a global vision, where we will conquer local markets one by one. So um, Norway is one market. I'm also looking into Sweden, Philippines, South Africa, and potentially Denmark. Good. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.